Hello, Internet. Welcome to something new. We're going to be playing AI Dungeon, but we're going to be playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead through AI Dungeon. So if you want to jump to the game, if you already know what AI Dungeon is and you don't really care to hear an explanation of it, I'll put a timestamp on the screen for when we actually get into the game. But first, let's talk about AI Dungeon. So if you're not familiar, AI Dungeon is a free online website you can go to right now, but don't do that. You should watch the video first. And it's basically an infinite text adventure. It uses a complicated artificial intelligence to generate text adventures on the fly. There are structured versions of this. You can go to pre-generated like fantasy worlds and things like that. Or what we're going to do is go with the custom um, input. So basically we're going to structure the adventure 100% on our own. There is a zombies um, preset, but in my experience, it's really not very good at all. Um, I had a lot of problems with just the world. It just forces the uh, zombies on you too, too much. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to kind of give this a shot, see what it's like to kind of structure a text adventure around Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So that's what AI Dungeon is for my typical viewers. And for those of you who know what AI Dungeon is, but you don't know what Cataclysm is... Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead is a zombie roguelike, post-apocalyptic roguelike. It's one of the my top three favorite games of all time, and I would encourage you to check that out as well. But watch the video first. It's, it's going to be fun. So um, AI Dungeon, basically what we're going to do is we're going to first set out a uh, scenario for ourselves. We're going to give the AI starting information so that it knows what to do. And I'm going to do this by pulling it directly from Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm going to use the starting scenario of the mall uh, apocalypse. The mall is one of my favorite locations in the game. So we're going to start in a zombie infested mall and we're going to see what the text adventure does for us. Now this could be good. This could be terrible. I really won't know until we get started. So let me come up with the starting scenario information. So here's our starting scenario. In Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, when you start in the mall, you get this particular information. Whether due to stubbornness, ignorance, or just plain bad luck, you miss the evacuation and are stuck in a large building full of the risen dead. That's all the game provides you with, though they changed scenarios a while back so they're not specific to each building anymore. I have added some extra text here to just set the stage a little bit and let us know where we are. You find yourself in a small area of the food court, standing near some tables in a burger restaurant. Although there are no zombies in sight, you know that they are in the building. In fact, let's change that to mall. In the mall. And that you must protect yourself and find a way to escape. So we're going to push this. And what will happen is that the AI will then generate the, the next bit of story. If you pay for AI Dungeon, there is text-to-speech. I have not bought it yet. I'm not sure if I want to spend the money, if I can really afford to do that. So we are playing on the free version, which, again, you can check out at, at your leisure. You've been here so long you don't even remember what it was like outside when the world ended. So, in interacting with um, AI Dungeon, we can do a few things. Uh, let's just run over that really quick. I have no idea what this does. We can set world information for the world, so we could set up like towns and stuff if we wanted to have a persistent world, if we were going to play this for a long time. I think we're just going to do this one episode, so we're not going to be dealing with that. We can pin specific information so the AI can remember. So we could say, like, um, um, you are, you always speak in the second person. So you say you, you don't say I. Uh, you are a man. You are 30. Um, you are in a mall. So once we pin this, the AI will then kind of remember that information. So hopefully in the future... You know, if our gender comes up, they will remember that we're male. We have the ability to edit anything that the the AI has, has posted here. Um, we can uh, go through anything that has been generated and change it if we don't like something about it. We can go back a previous decision. We can jump forward uh, or we can redo. So, like, if we don't like this line of text, we could change it ourselves or we could hit the redo button and it would re-evaluate the previous prompt. We interact with the AI Dungeon with these three options, we have do, say, and story. So do is something like, um, you know, pick up the table, right? It's an action that we take. Um, we have say, which allows us to communicate, you know, through speech with other characters and things like that. And then we have story. And what story does is allows you to actually narrate. So I could say, um, you look around and don't see anything. 
you decide you should arm yourself. And then if I hit enter, the AI would take that information in as though it had generated it itself and then move on to another action. So what do we do on day one in Cataclysm? Well, we need to secure a weapon. So look around uh, for metal shelving because we're going to make ourselves a makeshift crowbar, I think. First thing you notice is the smell. It's not overpowering, but it isn't pleasant I either. The air smells stale and moldy. It reminds you of your own basement. Okay, that completely disregarded what I just said. Um, so let's go to story and just pretend that there's metal shelving. Uh, you break the metal shelving into pieces. You take the, what do you need to make chunk of steel and uh, metal pipe and fashion and craft a makeshift crowbar? except I typed a comma there, so I don't know how it will handle that. This will help you break through the next door. When you're done, you set the crowbar down. You look around and notice that the zombies were not interested in this type of metal. Don't know what that means. Uh, wield your makeshift crowbar. You wield your makeshift crowbar. It does, uh, by the way, it takes several seconds for the AI to um, generate the next bit of story. So there may be some weird cuts in this just because I'm going to cut out a lot of the really long times. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a good time. There's mold on the crowbar, which is weird because we just made it. You use it anyway. You begin to pry away at the door. So apparently there's a door. Um, you manage to pry the door open. Actually, you can't because it's a makeshift crowbar. Makeshift crowbars no longer have the prying, prying quality necessary to pry doors. Uh, your crowbar cannot get enough leverage to open the door you frown see what the the ai has to say about that the door is too firmly shut you try again again the door resists your crowbar frustrated you slam the crowbar into the door it still will not budge you decide hmm that you won't be able to open the door you instead choose to look around the burger joint. What are we looking for, do you think? For food. So we'll have a look around for food. Still no zombies. You turn on your, apparently we have a flashlight, and we look around the fast food joint. You hope that you will find something there. Maybe a can of peaches, a package of crackers, some juice. You hop over the counter. We can't really hop over. Yeah, you can hop over counters in Cataclysm and go into the back, you see lots of pre... What do you see in the back of a restaurant? You see the sandwich station and find a an already made burger. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm still very new to AI Dungeon. I've only played with it for maybe like an hour or two, but I, I think it's really interesting. It's on a paper towel, but you know it isn't going to taste as good cold as it will after it's been cooked. Still, you're hungry, and it's better than nothing. Uh, eat the, let's say hamburger, because I usually play as lactose intolerant, so we're not going to call it a cheeseburger. Eat the hamburger. Delicious. You eat the hamburger. Hopefully, it's not moldy like our crowbar. The burger was stale. It tasted terrible, but you were still hungry, so you ate it anyway. It did not sit well in your stomach and your belly hurt for hours after you keep searching through the kitchen. Okay, um, let's say we're in the kitchen. What, what do we want? Look for a knife. Maybe we can make a knife spear, you know, and, and get away from the makeshift crowbar. You do not find a knife, but you did find a counter with a sink behind it. It has a faucet and running water. Take a drink from the faucet. I love the mall start in Cataclysm. It's one of my favorite, my favorite scenarios. The water tastes as you expect, and you feel a little better after drinking a glass of water, but the water is freezing cold. You finish the glass and put it in the sink. Okay, uh, so we don't have a knife. It's the zombie apocalypse. What would a human being do if they were in a mall during the zombie apocalypse? Take the cash from the cash register. We don't really have uh, cash in, in Cataclysm. We have bundles of money, and oh, we do have bills now. They did add recently bills and coins. You open the register and take all the money you find inside. It's a little bit more than you expected to find, so you put it in your bag. Apparently, we have a bag. You also find a pack of cigarettes. Smoke a cigarette while 
gathering up the rest of the money. Why not? It's nicotine. What? What is it going to kill us? We're in the zombie apocalypse. Cigarette is strong and makes you feel a bit lightheaded. Still, it helps keep you calm. Hmm, what now? Go to story. One of the zombies in the mall notices the small ember on your cigarette. It starts walking towards you. So let's get ourselves into combat a little bit because I have no idea how AI Dungeon is going to do this. The cigarette is too much. You vomit as the nicotine sets in. You fall to the floor, but the zombie is now very close. You realize this is the end. Okay. So I will say the one thing I've noticed about AI Dungeon is that, well, I've noticed two things. One, it's extremely horny. There is a um, not safe for work filter, which I have on, of course. But even with the strict filter, it still uh, throws some horniness at you sometimes. So I'm hoping we don't get near any other survivors because they always seem to start kissing me and stuff, which is really pretty peculiar in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, and then the other thing is that it really likes blood and guts, uh, which makes sense. This is uh, fed by the internet, and the internet is notoriously horny and violent. So the game likes to kill you for no reason. Like sometimes you'll just be sitting there and the game will be like, you notice blood in you know on your hands and you realize you're dying, you black out. And you're like, what? I was just talking to my you know, my cousin about dirt bikes or whatever, and then you die. So it looks like apparently it doesn't like that we ate the cheeseburger because it made us feel sick. And then we immediately got sick from a cigarette, which is pretty unusual. You find the strength to rise up to your feet. You take the makeshift crowbar in your hands and prepare to do battle with the undead foe. Yes, that sounds like proper. Oh, the AI doesn't know what to do. Okay, well, we'll keep feeding it. Uh, the zombie approaches you, but you are ready for it. You raise the crowbar above your head and, oops, and bring it down on the skull of the zombie with all your might. I don't know how it feels about violence. Um, the not safe for work thing might. Never mind, blood spurting. Yep. The zombie's head snaps back and blood spurts forth onto your arms. Zombies do do bleed in Cataclysm. You are spent from the battle, but you are happy to have saved what is left of humanity. I don't know if we saved humanity yet. Um, you realize that this is a small victory, but that there will still be war to wage against your undead adversaries. Is that how you spell adversaries? You wipe the blood from your crowbar and search the zombie's dead body. Zombie's dead body is a bit redundant, <laughs> but you know. You pull out the wallet of the zombie and read the card. That is exact, that's totally Cataclysm. All you do is take wallets and cards in Cataclysm. You read the card that was in it. You see the store where you found the money is a store that sells electronics and appliances. No, it's not. It's a, it's a burger place. Um, is a cheap fast food burger restaurant. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. So we'll edit the thing that it just can't, it just gave us. So when that happens, um, the AI then reads that in. So from now on moving forward, it should be a little bit more aware that it's not an electronic shop or whatever it was. So what do we do now? Um, realizing you need to move, you flick your cigarette into the sink and climb back over the counter. So we need to, what do we do in Cataclysm? We have a weapon. We're not hungry, we're not thirsty. What do we do? Your stomach still aches from the stale bad food. You walk out of the store and back into the arms of a dead world. See, that's pretty that's pretty cool. I like that. Hmm. Let's um look around the mall. Now it, it's just like a text adventure. It'll tell us what we see, but we might need to change it because there's zombies and Oh, it actually does reference zombies. Okay. You're standing in the Zetland Mall. The entire mall is one large empty space, which makes it very easy for zombies to get caught in the trap. It's nearly completely dark. 
I don't know what trap you're talking about. Um, okay, let's um, look at the zombies. See what see what it tells us about zombies. I have Cataclysm open in the background so I can pull information from it if I need to. You see zombies. They are everywhere. They shamble about slowly, not really noticing you. They look like the ones you have seen countless times in horror movies. That's pretty cool. I love AI Dungeon. This is so neat. Um, okay, what do we do? Uh, you know you can't fight all the zombies. You decide to sneak to the next store and try to find some clothing. Because we would look for armor, right? That's what we do in Cataclysm pretty, pretty much in the early game. Especially in the mall, there's a lot of leather clothing. Password is. No, see, that, that doesn't make sense. So give me something else, please. We, I just hit the reload button so it would generate something different. Before you head out, you search the corpses for any useful items. You pull out a few pieces of cash and put it in your bag. Um, you probably already have a few hundred dollars in your... Somebody just thumped a car outside. In your pack, you move into the clothing store stealthily no you you slowly move into the clothing store it seems to be primarily leather clothing including some jackets cowboy boots what else is leather well my neighbors are just like i don't know if they're pounding on their car or what that noise is uh, cowboy boots, leather jackets, what else is leather? And sexy <laughs> leather pants. Because uh, if there's one sexy thing in the world, it's definitely leather pants. You wonder if there's anything else in the store you could steal. You take a deep breath and slowly f and move slowly forward into the store. You look around the store and try to remain calm. Uh, let's say... I can't just say, are there zombies in the store? It doesn't work that way. Um... You look around in the darkness to see if there are any zombies in the store. See what it says. We, of course, you know, that would dictate what we're doing. You don't want to get caught in a fight here. You see no zombies. However, there is a mannequin in the store with a few items left on it. Okay, let's go to do. Check the mannequin and see what clothes are on it we can also give it half information so i could have said you check the information and see or check the mannequin and see and then just left it there and it would have auto generated the rest of the sentence when who knows what that would have said but you walk up to the mannequin and look at it it looks like a normal mannequin only it's covered with leather clothing you look around slowly and take off your coat um let's say it has a leather jacket on it you put on the leather jacket Actually, yeah, that, that should be okay with the do prompt. Put on the leather jacket and look in the mirror to see if it looks good. You look like a cowboy now, but under your coat. Okay, look around. Let's look around. Look around for leather pants. Just for a little bit more protection on our legs. Very important in the apocalypse to keep your, your legs protected. You look around and in the dim lighting, you can't tell if there is any leather pants in the store. If there are any leather pants. You decide to just keep looking around. What other clothing do we want? Look around for a bigger pack. Does it know what packs are? Backpack. See see if there's maybe a leather backpack in the store. Can't think of what else we would want out of a leather store. You walk around the store and slowly look around the store. Uh, there isn't anything in particular that catches your eye, though you do see the leather pants you were talking about earlier. Oh, that's, that's great. Change into the leather pants. Again, a little concerned about not safe for work stuff, but should be fine. You change into leather pants. And, oh, and if there is anything not safe for work, I'll black it out. We're not doing that on this channel. Uh, you change into the leather pants and look in the mirror. You think they look good on you. You look around the store one more time and head out. Um, okay. You feel a bit more protected now that you have leather gear. You know that it will protect you more than, I don't know, cotton clothing. Hmm. 
you try to remember if there was a gun shop in the mall. Maybe there are guns here, like sporting goods. Maybe we could find a firearm. There was a gun store, but you think it might have been on the opposite side of the mall. Hmm. Okay. You decide that getting a gun is in your best interest. You start uh, sneaking across the mall to get to the gun shop. I assume at some point it's going to put a zombie in our face here, so we'll have to have to fight the zombie. You try to remember where you saw it. You remember that it was right near the food court. We are in the food court. You hope there's still a working payphone in the store. Sneak towards... This would be a do. This is a do. Towards the gun shop. As you make it across the mall and to the other side, there are hordes of zombies staring at you. They shamble over to you and try to eat your brains. Okay. Well, I've played enough Cataclysm to know what you do in this situation. Uh, lure the zombies to the... What do you call... To the skylight? What do you call the big holes in the floor? I'm sure there's a word for that. To the railing and trick them into falling through to the lower floor. I don't know if the AI will be able to handle this weird sentence, but that's what you do in Cataclysm. You quickly run and lead two of the shamblers over to the railing. They look down and realize they're about to fall. They panic and grab at anything. No, zombies don't really panic. Um, so let's say those first two, they mindlessly walk towards you you watch as they topple over the ledge and fall to the floor below. Okay. Look around and see if other zombies are coming. Because it said many, right, hordes of zombies staring at us. As you look around, there is a woman slowly trying to get up from the floor. Look at the woman to see if she is alive or a zombie. Uh, so we might have gotten our first NPC, ladies and gentlemen. She's human, but she looks terrible. Her clothing is in tatters, and her face and neck are all wound up. I don't know what that means. She winces in pain when she tries to move. She sees you and looks relieved. You quickly move to the woman if... Uh, hmm. Uh, how do I want to say this? Look... Uh, because basically we want to go to the woman, but we only want to do that if it's safe to do so. Um, look to see if you can safely make it to where the woman is lying. Laying is is on the ground. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, you know, despite being a writer, my grammar is not perfect. You look around and quickly see that you are safe. There are zombies everywhere, but you have a clear shot at reaching the woman. You run over to the woman and help her up. Okay. Um, so her neck was badly injured. It's going to be okay. You whisper to her. You. Uh, she leans against you. Hmm. She can't walk very well on her own. She leans against you and you help her to a nearby store. So there we go. Good good Samaritan. We just saved our first NPC. Once in the store, she tells you that her name is Gwen and you should take off her pack. Okay. Um, take off Gwen's pack and put it next to her. That way she doesn't think we're stealing anything. AIs in Cataclysm, they love to, to try to murder you if you... Uh, if you try to take their things. You take off Gwen's pack and are surprised by its weight. You find a med pack in it that looks like it has some good stuff. Okay, look at Gwen's injuries. We'll, we'll do what we can. I'm going to guess that our first aid skill is probably zero. It's not first aid anymore. What did they change the name of that to? Gwen winces in pain when you touch her face and neck. It looks like she's been bitten before and has chicken pox on her face and neck. Oh, this poor woman. Zombie apocalypse and she has chicken pox. Okay. Uh, let's go to story. You know that these particular zombies... No. You know that bite wounds 
how do we want to say this? Because cataclysm zombies bite wounds don't turn you into a zombie. Um, you know that Gwen won't turn into a zombie. You open the med kit um, and take out its supplies. What did what did they call it? Med pack. We'll, we'll call it a med pack. You take out her med pack and and take out its supplies. I want to know what's in this this medical supply thing. As you hold the supplies, she winces in pain. You try to inspect her neck to see if the vaccine has started to wear off, but you can't because she's leaning against you. What vaccine? Let's just get rid of that because I don't want it to think that there's a zombie vaccine. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, you Okay, you try to look at, at her wounds, but you can't because she's leaning against you. Okay, um... What do we do? Um, lay Gwen down so you can look at her injuries. Didn't didn't we already look at her injuries? You look... Okay, you can't really... Oh, we couldn't look because she... Uh, she lays down. She winces in pain. You tell her to relax as you work on her wounds. She fights the urge to scream as you clean out and apply medicine to her bites. You're going to be okay... I disinfected the bite, the deep bite wounds, which is something we do in Cataclysm. Let's not overburden it with huge dialogue. Let's keep it brief. Gwen breathes a sigh of relief. Thank you. I knew I could trust you, she says. Soon the chicken pox medicine is finished and you tell Gwen to sit up. So not only does this woman have chicken pox, but she carries some kind of chicken pox medicine is finished or with her and we put it on. Let's say um, you are surprised that Gwen had chicken pox. I mean, what is chicken pox medicine? That you had the chicken... No, I don't. This is so silly. Okay, you tell Gwen to sit up. Um, okay, let's just talk to her. Um, you look like you lost a lot of blood. You should be okay for a little while at least. I put bandages on the worst one, the worst injuries. Don't end a sentence in ones. That's terrible. Sounds terrible. I can't believe how trusting people are these days. If they only knew the horrors we had to go through, I mean, they don't know anything. That's the problem. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this line of of dialogue. Um, let's let's probe her a little bit about. Um, do you know where these zombies came from? I don't I don't know how much people in the cataclysm know. Gwen looks at you as she begins to tell her story. Okay, so what we can do here is just hit enter. If we hit enter, the AI will generate some more lines. So it says she begins to tell us our story. Why don't we listen to her story? Why don't we just hit enter, see what the, the game has to do? There was a vaccine for everything when I was your age. Do you remember the swine flu when you were in elementary school? Okay, that's not your story. Let's let's try again. See what we get. She tells you that a man named Chad had the store before her. He was always nice to her and gave her a lot of work, but he was very demanding at times. Okay, I don't let's uh let's take over a li little bit. Gwen tells you that Chad was the first zombie she ever saw. He used to be human, but then died in front of her and came back as a zombie. Gwen says she had to fight him just to get free, and that is how she was injured. How about that? So maybe Gwen is a worker, and she was working with this guy named Chad at her store, and then, you know, bad things happened. So it's very slow. I have noticed AI Dungeon certain times a day. It seems like it's really, really bad. I've only played it a few times, but um, sometimes it stalls out and doesn't seem to do anything. We were in the basement and he just came at me with a knife. Uh, zombies don't really do that. Um, okay. Gwen explains that people go a little crazy before they die. Um before they turn into zombies. Chad had just been going insane, 
but then he died. I don't know what to say anymore. It's, I'm, I'm losing the thread a little bit. Losing the thread a little bit. Who knows what met, went through his mind all those years, but when he was alive, he must have been really mean and awful. I don't know what I had, what I would do if I had to work for that man. Okay, let's, let's, we're spiraling into bad dialogue. Uh, you're okay now. You shouldn't move because you, you've been so injured. You should rest here. No. I'll find you a place to hide while I go look for help. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look, I'll find you a place to hide and then I'll go for help. Because if we tell the AI, like, I'm going to go f look for help right now, it might skip the hiding part. Gwen agrees and lays down. You search the store for something to help hide her for a few days, but you can't find anything. We have lots of meat. You can have some of that. Okay. I'll get the meat later. Right now, I'm going to carry you to this back room office where you will be safe. And then maybe the AI will have us have us do that. I don't know why she wants to give me meat. That's a very peculiar thing. Once in the room, Gwen asks you a few questions. Why are there so many zombies in this city? You explain that there is a virus that turns people into zombies. That's not strictly true for Cataclysm, but that's, that's fine. Um, stay here now and stay quiet. I'll come back for you once I get some help. So, so I, I don't like playing with NPCs in Cataclysm. You push the office door shut behind you and run down the stairs. When you reach the first floor, you see a few normal people that worked in the store. No, you're throwing too many normal people at me. Let's get rid of that. I don't like that. Um, you, we're going to keep looking. Uh, you continue moving through. the. No, we have to leave first. You say goodbye to Gwen and tell her to stay quiet and safe. You return to the mall, to the, what do you call the main area of the mall? To the main area of the mall and continue moving towards the gun shop. I want me some guns. Oh, we're at 35 minutes of this video. I was trying to get like a self-contained story all in one video, but we might actually have to break this down. You quickly get past the incorrectly spelled mannequins and past the zombies that are eating there. It seems like they are moving a little slower now due to all the damage they are suffering. Okay, so internet, I'm going to tell you what. I was going to have this be a standalone video, but I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I don't know if people are going to like this or not, but we're, we're going to play a little bit more. Um, I will be back in the next episode with the continuation of this story. I don't know how long this series will go. I just wanted something short and fun and, and different. We will try this again in the near future. Hopefully this episode was okay. If it, if you enjoyed the episode, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know that this is something you want to see more of because I don't know how much of this I'm going to do unless people really like it. Um, and I'm afraid that the video is going to just be like me typing and going, you think Glenn should stay here and i'm a, i'm worried that that's going to be bad content so let me know what you thought let me know click that like button all that good stuff and uh, yeah we'll be back with at least one more episode of ai dungeon cataclysm in the near future but for now that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time